If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. What we'll do first to get the problem started is just draw a simple picture that represents the given information. So here we have drawn a y-axis as well as an x-axis, and at the origin of those axes we will assume Tarzan is located. There are two forces acting on Tarzan. There is his weight force, which is pulling him downward, and then there's the tension force in the vine, which is pointing in this direction. Notice the question said that this tension force makes an angle of 22 degrees with the vertical. That phrase, with the vertical, is sometimes confusing. The vertical is this line right here, so we've made sure to label that angle 22 degrees. Now, we can also determine this angle right here, since the y-axis and x-axis make a 90 degree angle. That means that this angle right here has to be 68 degrees, so that's going to be important for us. Now, in parts A and B, we are being asked to calculate the force on him from the vine in unit vector notation and then also the net force in unit vector notation. Now starting with part A, the force on him from just the vine we can write as follows. And when we do that we can see that the tension in unit vector notation is approximately 285 newtons and that'll be i hat and then we have approximately 705 newtons j hat. So this would be the correct answer for part A. We can now move on to part B. For part B we're looking at the net force so we're going to write F net and then we'll put the vector symbol above it. Now for the net force we're going to have to include the x forces the total x forces as well as the total y forces. Now we can see the only force acting in the x direction was that x component of tension. So we're going to still have the 760 times the cosine of 68 degrees and that'll be i hat. But Then we have to be a little bit careful with the y component because we have two y forces. We have the upward y component of tension and then the downward gravitational force. Now, because the upward tension force is pointing upward, it's going to be positive. And remember that it was 760 times the sine of 68 degrees. And then we have the downward gravitational force, so we'll have to subtract the 820 newtons. So that turns out to be negative 115 newtons approximately. So we'll put that in for the total y component, and then we'll have j hat. We'll just re-simplify the 760 co 68 and then we have plus a negative quantity, so we can actually just write minus and then 115 newtons j hat. So this would be the correct answer to part B. Now for part C, it's going to be useful to write the net force into a sort of triangle. Now we recall that in the x direction we had a force of positive 285 newtons. And then in the y direction, we had a net force of negative 115 newtons. You'll notice that we'll draw that downward because of the negative value. And then to get the total force, all we have to do is connect the original vector to the tip of the second vector. And we can mark that R for resultant, or we can mark that F net. And to find the value of F net, we simply use the Pythagorean theorem. Because we have a right triangle, we can do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And then when we take the square root of both sides of this equation, we can see that F net turns out to be approximately 307 newtons. So this would be the correct answer to part C of the question. Part D wants an angle relative to the positive direction of the x-axis. So what we're looking for is this angle right here. We can see from this right triangle we have the opposite side of negative 115 and the adjacent side of 285. And we know that the tangent function could be used. We can say tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, which I accidentally just erased there. I think that was 285. And to find the angle, we just take the inverse tangent of this ratio. And when we do that, we get approximately negative 22 degrees. So that could be the way you report the final angle. You could also say 22 degrees below the x-axis which we've written right here, or you could even say 22 degrees below the horizontal. So this way would be appropriate, this way, or even this way. So that would be the correct answer to part D.
For part e, we're being asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration. We know that the magnitude of acceleration would be the magnitude of the net force divided by the mass. And we already found the magnitude of the net force to be approximately 307 newtons. And then the mass of Tarzan actually was not stated. So we have to come over here and remember that the weight of Tarzan equals his mass times gravity. The weight was stated to be 820. The gravitational constant is 9.8. If we divide both sides of that by 9.8, we get approximately 83.7 kilograms for Tarzan's mass. So we can fill that in here, and then we'll compute the acceleration. And we get approximately 3.67 meters per second squared. So this would be the correct answer to part E of the question. And then for the angle of the acceleration, well, luckily the angle of acceleration is the same as the angle for the net force. And let's remember from part D that we determined the angle of the net force was 22 degrees below the horizontal. So the angle for the acceleration will also be 22 degrees below the horizontal. So in other words, the answer to part F is the same as the answer to part D. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you can send in your own question to this email address and I will do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.